I just got finished watching Ghostbusters for the second time in IMAX. And oh, stay after the credits. There is a uh, teaser for the second movie. Hey guys, a little different today. I'm wearing contacts because I'm going to go see the new Ghostbusters movie, which is an IMAX 3D. Really don't like 3D, but if I got to wear those glasses, I don't want to wear them over my regular glasses. Anyway, really excited about this movie because I love the original movie. And just to show you, you can sort of see my childhood proton pack, the little toy proton pack that was marketed for kids. I had the proton pack, the, um, the thing that captured the ghost where you stomped on it. I had one of those. I have in my, I still have it all. It's just in my attic. I also have the, the house, the firehouse with Ecto-1 car. And only action figure I ever had was Egon because that was the only character I liked. I mean, granted, the characters from the cartoon show, not the movie. Anyway, as you can see, see right there, the, see the over my right arm, there's the uh, proton pack. And I was putting it on right there when my mom took my picture. I even wore a jumpsuit just like they did in the movie and cartoon show. All right, so I'm off to go see Ghostbusters in IMAX 3D. Now, a lot of people have been hating on this movie uh, on the internet saying it's, it's horrible or it's going to be horrible, it's not going to be funny. When I saw the original one when I was a kid, I didn't like it because it was funny. Like, it, I didn't get the jokes. I was a kid. I liked the movie because it was like a sci-fi adventure film to me. Like, you know, like the idea of having ghosts and having the ability to capture them, I thought that was really cool because I was a science geek when I was a kid. And that's why I, I liked Egon more than I liked anyone else. And since I liked Egon and I liked science, I didn't see the film as a comedy. I saw it as like an action-adventure film with, you know, a science fiction element. And the whole spectacle of the whole film is what drew me in as a kid. Even watching Ghostbusters as an adult, the original, I never was like, oh, that's so funny, that's so hilarious. I just more watch it for the spectacle, the, the adventure element of it, of capturing ghosts and going through New York and I don't know I just, that all just still seems very cool to me so going into this new one I'm not going into an expecting a comedy I'm going into an expecting something fun with action little bits of humor that's what I'm expecting that's what I'm looking for so if it's not you know laugh out loud funny I don't, don't really care if that makes any sense so what I'm excited about is I'm excited about the way the suits look and the way the proton packs are functioning and things like that. I'm not excited about the ghosts. They look kind of cartoony in this new one versus the old one. They look really scary. I mean, just look at the comparison between the old one and the new one real quick. I don't know. The old one just seemed more scary or more in the element where the CGI ones, I'm, I'm not sh sure it's going to be as believable or as scary. The original one as a kid was very scary. Well, not scary, just like the ghosts seemed very real, except for Slimer. Slimer was very weird and funny. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Um, who knows? I might come out of the film hating it, and everything I just said to defend the film might be a waste of time. I don't know. I don't. I like. I'm a big film person. I like to make films, but at the same time, sometimes films are just meant to be fun. They're not meant to be taken seriously. I mean, it's a film about hunting ghosts, so it shouldn't take itself too seriously. And people who own the internet who take the film seriously, I think are missing the point. Film is a fictional realm, and anything can go, anything can happen. Um, granted, granted it should happen logically and with reason, but still, it's a film, and you should be able to, you know, suspend your disbelief when you're watching a film. So, so with that, you know, as long as the movie's fun, as long as the actors had fun making it, I think, I think it'll come off as fun. I don't know. We'll see. I'm almost at the theater now. I hope this hasn't been too shaky, because I see the camera slightly vibrating. It's just on a little suction cup mount that's meant for like the GoPro, which I do have. I do have the GoPro. 
I am bringing that into the theater. Hopefully, I'll remember, you know, hopefully we won't have any problems. I'm coming to see a 10.25 a.m. show on a Friday. So, I shouldn't have problems, but you never know. Like, kids should be seeing... Finding, see, look at that, I just went to adjust my glasses. I don't have them on. Kids should be in Finding Nemo. So, shouldn't be any kids. Shouldn't be a lot of people. I don't know, cross my fingers. It's not allowed. Look at this. There is like no one here. It's, it's, these, these, these must be employee cars. I love it when the theater is like empty like this. I mean, it's horrible for the movie industry, but as a person who likes to watch movies, I love it when it's empty like this. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go in. See you after the movie. I just saw some kids run in here. Hope it's not gonna be like that. <laughs> I mean, they're small, they're like. PG 13 movie. First gut reaction. It's awesome. Really cool movie. Anyway. I just got finished watching Ghostbusters for the second time in IMAX. It was just as great the second time around. The pacing is done really well. Um, there are some parts where the jokes were just kind of on a little too long. Most notably is the joke when they're being kicked out of a, a university and the dean tells them to to suck it. Then he starts doing all these gags with his middle finger, you know, like flipping them off. But, like, that wasn't even needed. Like, they should just cut to the next scene. It was just, I don't know, like a minute of wasted time that just slowed the film down and just... It was, it was like classic American cinema where we, we're just going to put a camera on lockdown and let someone improv. And you can see that they probably did that in other scenes too, but they cut some of it. Well, this was one of those they should have cut. But overall, I love the movie. I mean, I sat through it twice. Um, I think Kate McKinnon, uh, who plays Holtzman, the one that's got glasses, kind of looks like almost like the Egon-like character, you know, with the blonde hair. Um, she, I think, just steals the show. She's like the funniest part, most best part of the movie. Coming in second is Leslie Jones, who plays Patty, you know, from the trailer. May the power of Patty, you know. So she, she's great, and she, you know, but she, she, like, reminds me of Ernie Hudson in the first Ghostbusters because she's, like, the the person who cements the characters to reality because she's not a scientist who comes from a background and understanding paranormal activity or anything like that, just like Ernie Hudson's character. So, uh... And how they tied Ernie Hudson in with her, that was pretty that was pretty cool. Um Yeah, she's she's really good. But Kate McKinnon is so weird. Her character of Haltzman is so weird and obscure. But it's it's just so odd. But there's this one moment of like where her character shows her true humanity. Like she's weird and kooky. But at one point there's a part where um Melissa McCarthy's character, Abby gets possessed by the ghost, and you see it in the trailers. Well, what you don't see is there's a part where she starts destroying some of the equipment that Holtzman, played by Kate McKinnon, uh, uh, built or something like that. And, you know, you see Kate McKinnon's character, Holtzman, just kind of being kooky. And then as soon as the uh, stuff starts getting beat on, she rushes for it to stop, stop uh, Melissa McCartney and says, my baby, you know, or my babies, you know, like, because that's what she built. Like, that's her... Like, like, that was the most humane or human element of the film was her just um, responding to someone destroying her work um, it, it was it was very interesting it was like one of the best one of the coolest parts of uh, her character showing that she does care and she does have a, a side to her that's not just a kooky scientist so to speak also why she's also the best part of the film in the film there's a they don't just catch ghosts. Ghosts. There's they do catch one ghost in the film, 
but they don't catch ghosts. They kind of fight ghosts, like um, like their proton packs kind of like wrap around them, and they can toss the ghosts into other ghosts, and almost like they're fighting ghosts and using and knocking them out like in a brawl. And there's a huge scene where they do that near the end of the film, and Kate McKinnon's character just. Like each one of them has a like a, a like a moment where they're like really badass chicks busting ghosts, but Kate McKinnon's character just goes like full out like badass and like just beats up all these ghosts and stuff like that and it's just and it's just really really cool and I think that was I mean in the music for the uh, the the um, who you gonna call them, music the Ghostbusters theme just kind of like ramps up where it's just the music part no uh, no lines or no lo vocals and it's just her being a badass and like I, like that's one of the reasons why I wanted to see the movie a second time just for that moment it's like it's so cool it's it, you know it's not best storytelling but it's just pure spectacle like you go to a movie like that not expecting huge like plot twists or huge you know like pieces of Shakespeare like dialogue or anything but that's just it's just fun just fun to watch and I was lucky on this second viewing no one there was less people in the theater and no one was talking or anything so it was a much better viewing experience which is another reason why I went and saw the game because there was that lady in the first one who just wouldn't shut the fuck up like she just constantly had these little remarks like oh look at that oh that's cool oh you know it's like just shut up enjoy the movie I understand if something's funny, you're going to laugh at it, but just don't comment about everything that you see. Ugh, just, it was just, you know, you know you, you're in a moment where you're just totally immersed into a film, and then she just says something. And she was right behind, well, not right behind me, but right near me. And when she just did that, it just completely distracted me, completely pulled me out of the movie. And, um, you know, I kept telling her, shush, and she just wouldn't shut up. Know, which is why people, are, you know, I think most people don't go to theaters because of that. People ruin the experience or with their cell phones or they're talking, you know, so I don't know. But I enjoyed Ghostbusters. I don't, a lot of people hating on it. Yeah, it's not going to win the best, you know, movie of the year or anything, but it started a franchise, I think, that's going to be really cool. At, oh, stay after the credits. There is a uh, teaser for the second movie. Which is I'm looking forward to just the way they handle that character or that event from the Ghostbusters ethos, whatever you want to call call it. <laughs> so anyway, that's my take on the new Ghostbusters movie. I don't know if there's anything else. Anyway, bye bye.